is going to show us today how she's going to turn an ordinary kid's jacket into a DIY superhero hoodie. Yes. These oh. are adorable beyond. It really is. Yeah. So I, the idea came to me because my sister gave me this one right here as a hand-me-down. And this is a little Captain America one. Oh. I mean, it's so cute. Yeah, it's it's really, really, really fun. And so, yeah. Silas, right? Yeah. 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 When you put the hood on over, it goes right over the eyes, and it's really adorable. And I just thought... My son's not super into Captain America, but he would love to create his own special superhero. Well, now. With, yeah, right? With his own custom superpowers. And it's very, very easy to do, and they can get involved and have a lot of creativity. I got working on the actual structure of the, um, the headpiece earlier. So I bought fleece, just black fleece here. I decided to do a little black on, on blue combo. And what you're going to do is pin it into place and kind of put your hand in and let the the um the piece that you put in sort of fall naturally and pin it all the way around you're going to want to make sure it's even on the bottom just like that double check and just uh -huh. see that it has a nice natural sort of slope next you're going to add your fabric glue now you want to pin put your pins about a half an inch away from the edge that way you've got room to put the glue in without taking the pins out first so it kind of gives you that little um space. Mm -hmm. Next, I drew the shape of the eye, sort of tested out what I wanted, and I wanted those kind of evil looking eyes. So I drew that out on another piece of fabric, although you could do it on paper or whatever. How yeah. evil can That's pink a, eyes be? Sorry, yeah. I, well, I just gotta was, call was, out Dooley with the music yeah, here right it's, now. This is, it's this just is so perfection. Perfect. So I pinned the eyes into place, and because I was using black fabric, I needed something white to draw them out with. So I used a white paint pen, but you could use a sharp chalk or a, um, an eyeliner or something like that. And now you cut them out. Now, it was actually a mistake that the white showed, but once I saw it, I kind of liked it. So yeah. I decided to work with it, and I went back and reinforced it with even more paint. And then you just go back through and cut off all that excess, whatever's not glued. That's it. And that's it. And now you've got the, the main structure, the, the hood, so cute. over your face. And now there's a couple of things real quick. If this is something that your kid puts on and it's like, He's never taking it off. He or she loves it. This is the new favorite. I would. This is one of those I would go back in with a sewing machine sure. and reinforce it sure. because wash after wash after wash, right. some of that glue might eventually right, come course. up. So I would do that. All right, what is next? Okay, so now it's the decorating part. Now, just a, a quick little talking point. If you want to match your hood, to, you know, your mask to your hood, bring your jacket with you to the fabric store and you're gonna look for fleece. That is sweatshirt material fleece. Mm -hmm. If you wanna do a contrast, then it doesn't matter so much and you can just have that mask be a contrast. But just keep that in mind if you're gonna match perfectly, sure, bring your hoodie sure. with you. Now, it's the fun designing part. You can cut out letters. I would recommend buying some of this. This is called Cotton Twill. They have it in all different widths and all different colors because it'll allow you to put all these really fun little stripes and decorate it in any way that you want without needing to like cut perfectly straight lines. Is this for me? It says C on it. It's a C. I feel like yeah. this is yeah, like it's gonna, uh, screaming yeah, your I'm name. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Get into it. Now, no, when no. you glue, what I would recommend doing is having all these different random pieces cut out and let your child design it. Let them just sort of pick things up, lay it down, decide mm -hmm. where they want things to go, have different shapes and letters and things cut out for them. Once they lay it down, then you go back in and do the gluing. Sure. So what I would do is, let's say they put this piece here, keep it down and just fold it back like this and put some right here and tap it, then go this way. That way everything is still in the same place and you don't have to um, lift it up. Cause like, watch, if, if I went like this and I put it on, then I would be like, oh, is this? Oh. Yeah, and then right. you yeah. do it and then the glue right. shows. And then so just what, what? go like that. Great and tip. like I, love that. I did that here and see, I didn't go all the way. So now you go and you can get all your edges nice and clean. Well, all the way around because things. the base of it's on there. Two things. I love that there's no glitter involved. <laughs> but oh, wait. what I see, I thought, wait. Well, no, but what I see as I watch you do this, and I know this is so not seasonal, but this is a great Halloween costume. Yeah, absolutely. Safe absolutely. and keeps you warm while and, you're doing it, and it doesn't. You can breathe, and they and can see. And another really great thing is you could get little, um, the little uh, sticky Velcro tabs, yes. and put little Velcro right here, and just so make great. a little cape. cape. So there's so a cool. lot of really fun ways I to do see this. Cottage industry. I know. Yeah. If you want more information, you can follow at Orly Shanny on Instagram, or you can go to our Pinterest page, of course, 